One in five teenagers will be affected by some form of mental illness, and you know we're going to see it in the schools. It, it stops you from living life the way you want to. You know when you're going to have a test and you feel really nervous? I feel like that all the time, that nerves all the time. You think you're the only one. They just keep a smile to my face, not to worry other people. You're always going to be judged no matter where you go. We all have problems, like I struggle with a lot of different things. Okay, maybe people are right. Maybe there is something wrong with me. When you're in that place, that's how it feels. You, you know, you have no control over the way you feel. But sometimes, you know, Again, ignorance is bliss. It's just easier to act like it's not there, you know? Stop the Stigma is an initiative that currently is in 23 of our secondary schools. And this initiative really speaks to the guts of what we're trying to do and that is to create um, an environment where kids feel confident and safe enough to come forward and speak about what they're going through so that they don't have to go through depression or anxiety or whatever possible thing they're going through alone. What really happened was we went to a conference um, and we talked to each other and we thought, you know what, it would be great to get directly to kids. Kids need to hear this, not just teachers. It's a really good thing to have Stop the Stigma in schools and in our community because it helped that it helped the people to know what is going on in their children's life and in their life. We're trying to bring light to people and say that they're just like everybody else. What, what we do is we go to workshops, we learn about mental illness, we receive tips on how to deal with it. Everyone, in some way, whether it's the person next to you on the bus or it could be a brother or sister, they're affected with some mental illness. And I lost my very best friend when I was 21 years old. Um, she had first episode psychosis and she killed herself. I think if my friend had lived, what a difference she could have made because she had all of those wonderful qualities of helping, um, but she wasn't able to do that because unfortunately she took her life. There wasn't enough help back then, and I feel if we knew more back then, she could be alive today. The big event that was created for students was the Mental Health Symposium. And so what students uh, are able to gather at this particular symposium is some amazing guest speakers who speak very thoughtfully to uh, the mental health illnesses, really what they are in terms of um, what they look like. They're able to go to workshops where they're invited to become involved in a question and answer period, but also to be very interactive with the speaker. I think what this group has really done for me is it's given me a chance to not be ashamed of things that make me kind of quirky. Everything that Stop the Stigma is doing, it's reaching out and just letting everyone know, you know, you're not alone. There's a lot of different ways that we can help people. I want like more kids to like, to like speak up. Just talk to someone who you think could help you. Maybe they could give you a little bit of advice. You're beautiful, stay strong. No matter who you are, where you're from, you are not alone. We care. I would like to see Stop the Stigma go. It's, it's really an amazing program. It feels like a big fan. Honestly, I love it. It's the best. Yeah, it's nice to know that I'm not alone. And maybe sometimes Perfie's kind of good. Because a lot of people like that about me. <laughs> Yeah.